Hi there. The um, the game against the United's the first game that the, you've had against them in in, in the top flight. Last year, um, the Aberdeen coach Emma Hunter was saying that you know because of Rangers, Celtic, and, and, and Glasgow being professional, that they had to up their game. Uh, looking at United's scores, they're they're losing games by the odd goal. What, what, what kind of game are you expecting from them on Sunday? Uh, hi Mark, uh, we're, we're expecting a tough game, uh, I think we've found that the games this season uh, compared to last season, the, the standard of the league is improving uh, massively and it's not just from last year, week to week teams are improving uh, and I think Dundee United have adjusted and adapted to the league quite quickly uh, as you said with their scoreline so we, we're expecting a tough game, we've just done an analysis session on them uh, on their strengths, uh, so we're going to have to make sure we're at the top of our game. Uh, the girls are well prepared, coming off the back of uh, the Spartans game, uh, and we make sure we go into the game properly and we approach it and give them the respect they deserve, uh, and then hopefully we can use our strengths to, to get the result. Do you think the, the game against Spartans seemed to be up? I would say that Rangers didn't know because though they were firing and in all cylinders, but and you were also up against a Spartan team who are, um, like to like to pass the ball. You came around with a a set piece goal from uh, Chelsea corner and a header from from Kayla. Do you think that patience is the the vital thing in in these games? I think it has to be. Every game gives you different challenges, uh, and you've got to adapt to them. Spartans, as you said, they're off the back of a good result at the weekend against Celtic and. De Debbie's got a very good team, uh, they're well organised, they were young, they were enthusiastic, they, they gave it everything in the game to make it difficult for us and we don't expect anything different from teams uh, and then we get the early goal and it settles us down, set pieces is something we look at really closely, uh, Nick Hardy does a lot of work with the players to make sure that we can maximise the opportunities we get from set pieces so we place a big emphasis on that so scoring from set pieces uh, is a massive strength for us in the game as a whole. Uh, we probably weren't as smooth as uh, we have been in certain games, but that's going to happen as well. You're not going to get games uh, to go your way for the full 90 minutes, and Spartans certainly made it competitive. Uh, but once we get the second goal, I don't think we were ever in danger of uh, losing the game, and certainly conceding, uh, which we take pride in as well. So I think while we were comfortable in the game, we knew we could do better, and it's something we need to strive to do while other teams are getting better, we need to strive to get it better at being us as well. And, and lastly for me, could you just give us a, a quick roundup, if you can, of any injuries or suspension problems you've got going into the weekend? Uh, we don't have any suspension problems at the weekend. Uh, Injury-wise, everyone's came through the two games uh, from Motherwell on Sunday uh, and Spartans on Wednesday night. All the players that were in the squad uh, will be available for Sunday again. Uh, Lizzie Arnott's coming along, training, Cathy Hill, Yenny Danielson and Megan Bell's now uh, starting to join us on uh, pitch uh, exercises, so in that respect it's really good. We also have obviously uh, Jane and Laura are out longer term, but we're getting stronger, we're getting players back which gives us competition, so going into Sunday's game it will probably be uh, the majority of the squad we had, but some of the other girls are getting closer and closer to returning to full fitness. Uh, hi Craig, so yeah, just to follow what Mark was saying there, um, Kathy Hill you mentioned, she recently um, posted on Twitter um, back uh, running on the field, again after 10 weeks out, so how's uh, her recovery been and how's she coming along? Hi Jay, uh, yeah she's been doing well, obviously a frustrating time for her, uh, she's not got a good track record of injuries, uh, so she's found it frustrating but working with the medical team with Paul and Olivier and the other physios and the sports science staff, uh, she's now back uh, on the pitch, which we're all glad to see, and Cathy's really delighted about. We'll need to get some training sessions uh, in her and see how she responds to that. But up till now, Touchwood, she's been doing very well, so it's great to see Cathy back on the pitch with us after such a long time. Yeah, that's fantastic. And just one more from me. Um, the women's game is uh, got much uh, rightfully uh, much more publicity in recent years. Looking from the outside, someone who's interested in Scottish women's football, it's, it's a fantastic title race so far. Obviously, Celtic and Glasgow City playing this weekend as well. Someone's got to give there. He's all on maximum points. Just 
How exciting is it for you as, as a squad? It's, it's great. As I said earlier, the, the league from last year has improved in terms of quality uh, in all the teams. I think uh, that's evident. Uh, but competition is what you want. It's what we want as, as coaches. It challenges us, uh, the manager and the coaching staff, to, to make sure we're at our best. It uh, also challenges the players. So uh, City and Celtic have started the season really well. We wouldn't expect anything different. But there's a lot of other teams that have improved and are, are having really good performances. So the challenge for us is to make sure we keep working hard day in, day out. You take each game as it comes. I know it's an old cliche, but we take the game that's in front of us and we manage that appropriately. And then we look at the next game after that. Uh, but the competition's great. I think the exposure for the league, you can see that. Uh, it's going to be great for the league. And I think the next couple of years, uh, it's going to be fantastic for everyone.